You're listening to the Valley Labor Report with David Story and Jacob Morrison. But there's a bill, uh, I think, co-sponsored or, or put forward by Senator Arthur Orr uh, to improve the public record access protocol in Alabama. Uh, give us kind of a broad overview, Katie, of what you know what the public record access is in Alabama. Uh, you know what what the status quo is and what this bill is seeking to do. Yeah, so um, Senator Orr has taken up the mantle left behind by Senator Cam Ward, who's now the director of the Bureau of Pardons and Paroles. Um, Alabama has one of the worst open records laws in the country. Um, It is one of the ways that states like Florida are just leaps and bounds ahead of us. If you submit an open records request to Montgomery County, where I live, and ask them for copies of county commission minutes from March 23rd. Let's say they met yesterday and they email you a PDF that is seven pages long. They can tell you that will be $70 because we charge $10 a page. They can just say that just because they want to, even though it's attached to an email, even though a PDF doesn't actually cost any money to produce. um, They can set the cost. They could also just tell you no. They could also just never answer you. And so what this type of legislation has for several years now um, tried to address is several things. Um, The amount of money that is charged for open records requests, because it is all over the place, the amount of time that it takes to get a response to an open records request, um, the non-responsiveness in general, or if there is a response, the negative response that you receive from a um, entity that's supposed to respond to open records requests, and then creating some type of individual or organization that oversees disputes and open records requests and ombudsman or something like that. Um, and so Senator Orr, God bless him, has taken up this fight because <laughs> there are so many people invested in this not working out. Um, every time there's a public hearing on this issue, someone comes up and says, you know, Miss Mary, who works at the county you know, hall, she just doesn't have time to fill 70 bajillion open records requests every week. Well, we're not asking Miss Mary to fill 70 bajillion open records requests. But what we are asking is for good government. And good government requires that people have access to the records that are paid for by our tax dollars. Um, it's just really not an option that you like get to pick and choose. So it's it's difficult. He is trying to come up with a collective solution. When the bill was up in committee a couple of weeks ago, he said, okay, I've got the bill now. I've got the hot potato. Call my assistant if you are interested in this and let's talk about it. Um, so we'll see what comes of it this go round. It's, it's been a tough few years working on it. Um, and we'll see the, the folks at the Broadcasters Association are really leading this charge because obviously reporters need access to open records to do good journalism. And it is a cornerstone of our democracy. Yeah, I, I definitely think that's really important, and hopefully we we're able to get that through. Uh, and you know, it's it's funny, it, it's funny, kind of the, the the strange bedfellows, so to speak, that, that you'll get with with some of these issues because uh, Senator Orr was the person who put through. Um, he wrote SB thirty, the bill that um, that that gave sweeping immunity to employers in cases where they put their employees in danger. Is, and, and uh, as a result of COVID, and you know, as a as a union person, I'm very, very, you know, a very. He has very varied. I'm he sorry. has very. I was going to say he has very varied interests, Senator Ordes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's. I mean, that's definitely the case because it's. Uh, that's that was a terrible bill. That was a really bad bill, SB thirty. But the open records one, that's a good bill. That that's that's a good bill. So you know, I'll be calling his office and and. Uh, you know, um, uh, saying thank you for this and, and pleased to be continuing to, to do good work like 